Hi, Martin here. Today, we're going to be putting a uh, transmission cooler in our WJs from our, that'd be our 99 through 04 Jeep Grand Cherokees. Um, that, they never came with an actual transmission cooler other than the one that's in the radiator, which is normal. Um, I have one here. I've had this for quite some time. I don't even know what I got it out of. It is, I believe it was a GM product. I'm not real sure. Um, it's like a Hayden style sandwich transmission coolers. These are very, they work very well. And I picked up five feet of 3 8 diameter transmission line. And what we're going to try to do is, uh, this will be experimental, because I do have a Super Chips, the Trail Dash 2 programmer on the dash. And this tells you digitally, very accurately, what the transmission temperature is. Um, we'll go out for a drive. It's uh, 100 degrees out right now. And we're going to get like a baseline of what the temperature is cruising and in stop and go tra uh, traffic. And we'll come back here. And I'm going to install this in front of the radiator. Totally bypass the one that goes to the radiator. And then we'll go out for another drive and see what kind of results we get. Um, of course, I'm hoping it's going to actually drop. Because right now I'm seeing temperatures of around better than 220 degrees. And I think that's too damn high. So hopefully bypassing the radiator one will actually drop it. Um, a lot of times you hear not to do that, to run it through the radiator cooler, then through this one. And that is how I do have it hooked up on my XJ. And that works quite well. But uh, like I said, this is just an experiment. We're going to see what happens. All right? So let's get started. Okay, here you can see that we're approaching 200 degrees. And it is 100 degrees ambient temperature outside right now. stop-and-go traffic as you can see it's still continuing to rise still climbing and here we are you can see we're cruising at 66 miles an hour Transmission is at 221, and the engine temperature is at 217 degrees. It seems odd to me that the transmission temperature goes up higher at cruising speed with the torque converter locked. It uh, should drop in temperature, if you ask me. My 98XJ drops 15 to 20 degrees as soon as you get on the freeway and the torque converter is locked. Alright, first step, remove the grill. Next thing to do is to remove these Torx screws here. There's four of them going across here. And this is just going to help us give enough room to get that transmission cooler in there. Now with those four Torx screws removed, you're able to pull this away and hopefully we can just slip this in here. There you can see how well that fits. And then it's got that mounting tab right there. I just had to bend that over. It was straight. And then the only problem we're going to have 
it's probably right in here is getting those bolts there. But what I think I can do is maybe just carve out just a little piece right in here. And uh, we can sneak a bolt in both these spots. Okay, we got it in there nice and secure. I'm going to go ahead and return all the uh, Torx uh, bolts up here. And then we'll work on getting the, the transmission lines hooked up. Okay, passing the transmission line through here. I'm going to start with the upper one. Oh, I actually got kind of close to that. Thing there, making it a little tough. There. Okay, here we are underneath. I got the hose right here. And since we hooked the top one up first, that's exactly what I want to do here. I want to follow the line down to the one that goes to the highest transmission line which looks like it'd be so out of these two you know it's this one here we're gonna unclamp this here you are gonna get some transmission fluid that's gonna run out a, you know a little bit so I have a catch pan or whatever then we'll hook that line to this one right here cut it and then use the remainder hose for the lower one and do the same We've got the one line hooked up here, and I've got the next one ready to go right here. Okay, I'm about to pull this off of here, the last line, and I'm sure we're going to get a little bit of transmission fluid coming out of it. We did get a little bit on the other one. Not too bad. Good. All right. Slide that on. Now all I've got to do is uh, get this clamp on here, 
and put the grill back on and we're gonna go fire this thing up now that we're still in the experimental stage um, and I might hook these back up I'm just gonna plug these up with a couple bolts so whatever remaining transmission fluid in there doesn't go dripping and we don't get no contaminants inside the uh, lines in case we hook these back up all right with it all the grill back in I mean you look in here and I mean this thing you would never know that wasn't fact like a factory install there you can see one of the lines there and right up there's the other okay I'm gonna fire this up we'll just check for leaks and then we'll take it for a drive and we'll see what happens with the temperature okay I'm uh, driving this around got almost 18 miles on it so far and right now I'm saying this is what you call the wow factor you can see the engine temperatures at 221 and the uh, transmission at 192 we have a uh, 101 degree ambient temperature outside the air intake temperature you can see up there is 134 degrees okay here you can see we're cruising down the interstate doing 64 I did get it up to 205 was the high but they, at least it's not 222 right still a uh, pretty significant drop so I'm definitely impressed now I'm getting off the off-ramp reason generally the transmission temperature will go up when the torque converter is unlocked you just saw it drop there that puzzles me a little well, all right I think that was a huge success I mean literally a wow factor as far as temperature goes um, we're talking you know a good 20 to 30 degree temperature difference um, which I'm really pleased with uh, now like I said I didn't recall what I got that uh, transmission cooler out of I've actually had it for probably a couple years had other intentions with it and I have another one right here this is virtually the same one it does have a different mounting bracket. I also don't remember what this came out of, but it is um, eight and three quarter or eight and three eighths inches wide, eleven inches long. Uh, and as soon as I find out, you know, if I'll, I'll go down and pick apart and and walk them, the vehicles out there, and see if I can figure out what I got that, got that one out of, um, and I'll post it in the description down below. So but very pleased I won't be hooking that back up to the radiator and we'll just see how it goes there um, especially come winter time might be a thing where I got to hook it back up you know it, it runs too cold whole installation too is very quick I mean if I wasn't moving the camera around uh, to do this whole video I think I could have done this in like an hour and a half uh, so very simple. It actually all went according to plan. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe.